Hey everyone and once again welcome to WSQ Tech English channel. Myself Umar Taskir. Guys in this particular video of Facebook ad series we are basically going to talk about custom audience. So we will be not discussing very much in detail about custom audiences but we are going to have an overview of the different custom audiences which are present in Facebook ads ecosystem and how can we actually use them right. So uh, as we all know that custom audience is basically whenever you want to create audience based on your set of rules, based on your conditions, based on some scenarios like you want to create audience of uh, people who visited your X page or you want to create audience of people who visited your Y page. So you have different scenarios, you have different rules, you have different conditions and based on those conditions you want to create an audience and later you can show ads or campaigns to that particular audience right. So whenever we want to create some specific audience based on some uh, set of rules we basically follow the way of creating custom audiences right. So we have three main uh, ways through which we can actually create custom audience in Facebook ads and these three ways are so the first one is from your properties okay from your properties which means that you will be creating custom audiences from your website or maybe from your app right so if you have your website or if you have your app so you wanted to make an audience right uh, based on the interaction that they did on your website or based on the activities that they are doing or they did on your website right so you can create this first kind of custom audience uh, which is from your properties uh, like a website and app and uh, for this particular thing we actually require pixel and now we know the concept of pixel also that how can we actually implement pixels on our website and what are the different types of pixel like uh, the standard one and the event based pixel. So now we know all these things. Now the second uh, way or the uh, source through which we can actually create custom audience is from Facebook sources right. So we have different Facebook sources suppose you have your Facebook page suppose you have your Instagram page. Uh, the different videos that you have uploaded on Facebook right. So you have all these different things uh, you can use these different things you can use uh, the interactions of your audience on these different things and then you can create a rule based on these uh, uh, these sources and you can uh, use that particular audience in your campaign. So this is the second thing that you can do and this is the second thing that through which you can actually create your custom audience. So now we have two ways or two sources through which we can create our custom audience. We wanted to record interactions or we wanted to create rules, uh, set rules based on the interactions on uh, the properties which are actually owned by uh, Facebook but our presence is there right like Facebook page right. So Facebook page is ours but yes it is there on Facebook property right which is like it is there on Facebook fine. Then we have Instagram uh, page also Instagram page is not owned by us or Instagram as platform is not owned by us right. We are only creating our profile over there right. So that is basically the second source where we are uh, creating our custom audience using the Facebook sources. The third one is different videos that you are posting on your Facebook page or your Instagram page right. So you we have these kind of different sources. And the first one which I told you was from your properties right your website is your property and if you want to track interactions over there if you want to create custom audience based on the interactions which people are actually making on your property that thing you can also do but for this thing to happen what you have to do is you have to extract your, or you have to basically take out that pixel from uh, your ad account and then you have to paste that thing on your uh, uh, website or app whatever it is so that it can uh, start. Uh, recording the interactions it can start uh, recording the behavior of what people are doing on your web pages on your website or uh, application whatever it is and it will send that back to Facebook ads account and later you can create audiences based on that particular thing and you can use that audience once your audience is created you can use that audience in any one of your campaigns. So this is what uh, we do on Facebook right we, we, we create uh, different audiences and uh, these are the different ways through which we can actually create different audience. I will show you practically also that where we are going to see this custom audiences option or what are the other sub uh, options available there. So these are the two sources right uh, from where we can actually create our custom audience and the third one and the last one is basically your customer list right. So uh, how it works is basically if you have a customer list or if you have a data where you are having some phone numbers, some email IDs, names and everything you can upload that data to Facebook. 
and Facebook will try to map that data with their database and if the data matches with what is there in their database, right? Your data matches with their database. Now you can create audience of those uh, matched people and then you can show your ads to those people. So we have customer list thing also. Uh, so we have three ways over here that can help us in creating custom audiences. So now coming back over here, uh, as soon as you will come onto this audiences section over here, right? So you have to click on this audiences section first. And from here, uh, you can see the different sources through which you can actually create your uh, custom audiences, right? So let it load. So now when we are visiting to this uh, audiences section over here, we have different options like custom audience, like lookalike audience, saved audience, special ad audience. So we are not going to discuss all these things over here. We are going to talk about the custom audiences. Let me click on this custom audiences. And you can see we have uh, one section over here which says that your sources, right? As I uh, just told you, the first thing through which we can actually create our audience is our own property like our website our application so these are our own properties that are basically going to help us uh, in creating our custom audience right so the first source uh, like a website is there right our website is there and uh, our app is there offline activity these all things are there right so this is like use your sources and then we have facebook sources right so we can use uh, our Instagram account interactions to uh, set a rule and uh, to create our custom audience. We can use lead forms, right? So we can we can create audiences based on the interactions on our lead forms. We can create audiences based on the interactions uh, on our Facebook page. So let us come to this uh, website thing first. So if we want to create audiences based on the interaction that people did on our website, so we'll be needing pixel in this particular case. So as you can see over here, uh, we, we have a condition over here like include people who meet any one of the following criteria and the source will be ads account pixel and through this we can create audiences based on all these different uh, activities which we are seeing over here right so we can uh, we can create audience based on the uh, visits that uh, people did on specific web pages or visitors by the time spent on our different web pages so we can do all these things or we can create audiences uh, from our website, right? Create a website custom audience. That is, uh, that is what this heading is also telling us. We are going to create a website custom audience from here, and then we can name this audience, and then we can use this audience in any one of our campaigns as required, right? Coming back over here, now uh, we have explored one thing over here, which is like our sources. Now we can go ahead and see what kind of uh, Facebook sources are there that can help us in creating the custom audience. So we can select Facebook page. And now we have to select our page from here. Like if we are going ahead and selecting one page, anyone, we can select any one page. Like if I'm selecting this particular page, now I have the options of uh, uh, selecting or creating audiences based on different uh, rules over here. Like anyone who visited your page or like people who engage with any post or ad of your page, right? People who have clicked on any call to action, people who sent a message to your page, people who saved your page or uh, any post right so you can you can create audiences based on different interactions based on different activities you can name that audience that audience will be present uh, in your audience list that audience will be there in your audience list and now what you can do is you can go ahead create your campaign select your objective create your creatives ad copies everything whatever you want whatever should be there uh, with regards to your uh, campaign setup right and then you can select this audience and show your ads to this particular audience so this is how the custom audience, the concept of custom audience uh, works. So I am not going to talk in very detail uh, regarding the custom audience creation and other technical stuff, right? I'm just giving you an overview in this particular video that will help you in understanding the concept behind custom audiences. And in the later videos, we'll be talking about the practical stuff or how can we actually create custom audiences based on some set of rules. So that's it for this specific video. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.